Hi, I'm Ethan Tucker from Hadar. Let's kosher our oven for Pesach. There are a couple ways to kosher your oven. The simplest and easiest way is if you have an oven with a self-cleaning cycle, that pretty much will do the job for you. All you want to do is go into the oven beforehand, make sure there's no visible pieces of food that have fallen in there, uh, get them out, clean it up, but you don't really have to worry about anything that's caked up or present in small amounts because the self-cleaning cycle simply burns those off and takes care of them. Make sure your house is well ventilated and then you just run the self-cleaning cycle and it will take care of everything. Ideally, you do that with the racks in the oven and that's taken care of then as well. If you're concerned that the self-cleaning cycle will ruin the racks, you'll want to take the racks out during the self-clean process. And then afterwards, you'll kosher the racks in the alternate way of koshering the oven. So if you don't have a self-clean cycle on the oven, you'll have to do a little bit more of a preliminary cleaning job. You'll want to take out the racks, you'll want to clean them off very, very carefully, and you're going to do the inside of the oven with some degree of oven cleaner or anything else to get the hardest to remove stuff off. Figure out what the highest temperature setting is, so 550 will do the job on this, and you want to run the oven on that highest setting for an hour. By doing that, you burn off everything in the oven. The removal of chametz is often compared to the destruction of avodah zarah, the destruction of uh, idolatry and idolatrous forces in our lives. The Torah talks about psile Eloehem tisrefun ba'esh, actually that the stuff of idolatry, one of the things you did with it when you encountered it, was to burn it. And so too, the sense in which idolatry represents the ways in which we've gone astray, there is a sense of this is a process, the process of removing chametz. How have we gone astray in the past year? What are the ways in which we can begin again? Think about actually these processes of burning, not just as the technical removing of stuff in our pots and pans, but really a symbolic and powerful moment of eliminating from our lives and from our kitchen things that we don't want to take with us into the next year. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please check out our other videos in this series on preparing your home for Pesach. And don't forget to consult our rich library of resources on this and many other topics at www.hadar.org.